Okay, so here we go. This is a thing called a smart pulley. Now, uh, I just want to show you what this is. This black rectangular device is a photo gate. And is there a red light over there? Yes. And notice, as this thing turns, these spokes are going to either block or unblock the infrared light. And this is indicating right now that the infrared light that passes between there is not blocked, blocked, not blocked, blocked. Now come over here and I'll show you the specs of this device. The arc length of a spoke at the position of the infrared beam is 0 0.015 meters. So what is that? One and a half centimeters long is the arc length. And then the angle spacing is every 36 degrees. So uh, from that information, you could imagine as this thing is spinning, hopefully you could figure out how that can give us this information uh, uh, let's run a graph and I'll show you what I mean. So, this string is tied to this cart. Over here, we're going to hang it on this mass. Uh, hang this mass on the string. So, for reference, I think that's about 7 grams and this is about 300 grams ish. Now, we're going to turn on the air track here. And so, I'm turning on the air track, I'm holding this in place. Now I'm going to start the timer, and hopefully you can see these graphs as well, and we'll zoom in on the graphs afterwards. Just notice that when I let, after I hit start, these graphs will start populating with data. Here we go. All right, that's good enough. And then let's come over here and look at this, and I'll stop the air so you can see this. So try and think, what do these graphs mean? This first one is, oh, you can't quite see it there. Let me make it a little wider. This is angular position in degrees, all right? And so we see that uh, over time, if I could, oops, right there, you can see that the angular position is going up. So obviously every 360 degrees would be one time around. So this went around almost 10 times here. You can see we almost got to three, uh, 3,600. So it went around 10 times. From that information, you can see here an angular velocity. We see that the angular velocity went from close to zero to large. And again, it's in degrees. I forgot to hit the button for radians per second. That's okay. You get the idea. Uh, notice right here, we see the angular velocity is going up. And then here must be where it was slowing down and coming to rest, approximately to rest. So this was the case of it speeding up. And then here it is slowing down. Do notice the following. While it's slowing down, the angular velocity is still positive. So it is still going forwards, but at a much slower rate. So these two graphs are linked. Finally, we can see over here, give me just a second, this bottom right one. This is a slightly different graph. This is velocity. Notice this is in units of meters per second. This one is angular velocity in degrees per second. I should have chose radians, but my bad. You can think that here we see this is the velocity of the cart speeding up. This is linked to that by the string. So the string is connected to the cart, and we say that's friction coupled to this pulley. And the idea is, if you know the radius of the pulley, you can relate the angular speed to the linear speed, and this is how you can actually figure out the velocity of this thing. So this is just some basic information on the uh, smart pulley, and maybe we'll have lab questions on this, maybe we're not, but if you're wondering how this works, again, it's basically a photo gate, and the spokes are what's blocking and unblocking the beam, and then using the information we know about the pulley, we can actually get information on its angular position, its angular velocity, and its velocity. Obviously, you could also get acceleration, too. Um, let's call that good.